Kumusta kayo muli mga grade 4 learners? Tayo pa rin ay nasa quarter 3 at module 4 na tayo ngayon. Ang pamagat ng module 4, relating triangles to quadrilaterals and relating one quadrilateral to another quadrilateral. At ito ang lesson 1, relating triangles to quadrilaterals. Muli, samahan niyo ako at pag-usapan natin at pag-aralan ang ating bagong topic. Hello learners! How much do you remember about triangles and quadrilaterals? In this lesson, you will learn the relationship between triangles and quadrilaterals. Triangles and quadrilaterals as polygons can be classified according to their sides and angles. Understanding their properties can help you solve problems involving these types of polygons. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to relate triangles to quadrilaterals. Read the following questions, write the letter of your answers on a sheet of paper. 1. How many angles does a triangle have? A3, B4, C5, D6. Number 2. When you divide the quadrilateral diagonally, you will have blank A2 triangles. B3 triangles, C4 triangles, D5 triangles. 3. What is the sum of the interior angles of a triangle? A 90 degrees, B 100 degrees, C 180 degrees, D 360 degrees. Number 4. What is a quadrilateral? A. It has three sides and three angles. B. It has three sides and four angles. C. It has four sides and three angles. D. It has four sides and four angles. 5. Which of the following statements relate triangles to quadrilaterals? A. Quadrilaterals have ten different kinds. B. All triangles have the same angle measurements. C. Triangles and quadrilaterals are classified according to sides and angles. D. All of the above. Based on the properties of quadrilaterals, write T if the statement is true and F it is false. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Number 6, a square is a rhombus. 7, a square is a rectangle. 8, a rectangle is a rhombus. 9, a trapezoid is a parallelogram. 10, a rhombus is a parallelogram. This is quarter 3, module 4, lesson 1. Relating triangles to quadrilaterals. Hello! It's great to see you moving on this new learning. As you go along with this lesson, you will be able to find out how triangles are related to quadrilaterals. Can you identify the figure presented below? Write triangle if it shows the properties of a triangle and quadrilateral if it plays quadrilateral. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Number 1, that is quadrilateral. Number 2, triangle. Then try to answer number 3, 4, and 5. Match the following quadrilaterals with their corresponding name. 
Write the letter of your answers on a sheet of paper. Number one, that is parallelogram. Number two, a trapezoid. And what is number three, four, and five? Read the story problem. Then answer the question on a sheet of paper. Mr. Santos bought a cartolina for his math class. He needs two triangles of the same size without wasting any part of the cartolina. How will he divide it? What shapes are formed? Look at the illustrations. Suppose we cut a line connecting two opposite vertices of a rectangle dividing the figure into two similar parts. The two similar parts formed from cutting the rectangle are triangles which share the common side, represented by the broken line, called the diagonal of the rectangle. What is a polygon? A polygon is a closed figure made up of several line segments that are joined together. The line segments are called sides and do not cross each other. There are exactly two sides that meet at a point. A triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. Look at the other illustrations. The total measure of all the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees of interior angles and 360 degrees of interior angles for a quadrilateral. Thus, a triangle is half of a quadrilateral. Using the drawing below, tell whether the figure labeled by each letter is a triangle or quadrilateral. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Letter A, a quadrilateral. B. Triangle. Then it's your time to answer letter C up to letter J. Now that you have learned how triangles and quadrilaterals are related, supply the missing term in the blank. Choose the answer from the box below and write your answers on a sheet of paper. A triangles and quadrilaterals are both called polygons. Triangles and quadrilaterals are related according to sides and angles. Triangles are three sides and blank angles. Quadrilaterals are blank sides and four angles. Triangles have blank sum of interior angles while quadrilaterals have blank sum of interior angles. Draw the following objects then identify if it is a triangle or a quadrilateral. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. Let us answer number one. Draw a handkerchief. Then identify if it is triangle or quadrilateral. This is quadrilateral. Then continue answering number 2 up to number 5. Number 2 is slice of pizza, 3 cell phone, 4 blackboard, and 5 pyramid. Using the table below, Find the similarities and differences of triangles and quadrilaterals. Write your answers on a sheet of paper. I'll give you examples. 
similarity sa triangle and quadrilateral, they are both polygons. Differences for triangle, triangle has three sides, while quadrilateral, four sides. Maraming salamat sa inyong panonood. Kung nagustuhan niyo ang ating video at nakatulong sa inyo, please like. At huwag kakalimutan mag-subscribe at pindutin na rin ang notification bell para updated kayo sa ating mga bagong videos. Pwede kayong mag-comment at syempre huwag kalilimutan itong i-share sa iyong mga classmate. Hanggang sa susunod na ating pagkikita, paalam!